All right. Today, I guess I'll talk about mung bean hitting, hitting practice. Well, something, something like this. And basically, this is an old sock filled with mung beans. And mung beans, M-U-N-G, they're little green beans. Apparently, when they get beaten up enough and they start to, you know, become powderized, um, it's good for your skin and it benefits the hitting practice more than just using some other kind of beans or material. So basically what you're doing is you're uh, putting this vibration in the bones. Every time you do that, it vibrates the bones and inside the bones is kind of like this porous material and as you get older it becomes more brittle and more um, yeah more brittle and dry and it changes from this yellow marrow that's really uh, rich in nutrients and more pliable so your bones are less likely to break and so doing this vibrates that shakes it up kind of stimulates it so that it rebuilds itself it's got some life in it and you can do it on your forearms hands and uh, I like to do it all sorts of you know fists and stuff like that the leopard paw as well and on both arms obviously and then on the shins definitely want to do your shins and it'll also start to like deaden the nerves so on striking surfaces you don't want your nerves to be very sensitive because then it'll hurt when you punch or strike with that part of your body um, so for instance I just noticed like this part of my body I mean I don't really practice back fists to the uh, to bags or anything very much so I guess this part of my hand had been very weak and sensitive it really stung when I used to hit it but now I can hit it much harder it still stings a little bit when I hit it harder but um, but not as much as before so I've noticed this practice being very beneficial in my own life quick summary these are the mung beans in this sock and you can put mung beans in a burlap sack and punch it I have some of those at home do a video on that one day and um, basically it's used to strengthen your bones, return the vitality and youth to your bones that you lose with age or with not, uh, you know, not making use of your bones, so their most maximum potential. And um, I think it's beneficial not only if you're a martial arts practitioner because you need to deaden the nerves and strengthen the bones so you can strike with appropriate power and not hurt yourself, but hurt whatever you're striking, um, but also for good aging because as you grow older one of the big problems is the bones become brittle and they're susceptible to breaking more susceptible to breaking so um, so yeah for those two reasons I think this is a great practice to uh, engage in and I would say just you know on your spare time if you can do it a couple times a day and now I don't do it a couple times a day but when I, I just try to do it every once in a while and just be consistent in the long term even if not on the daily. Hopefully maybe this kind of videos will help me with my consistency skills and I'll start doing this daily again because I have noticed a great benefit to this practice. All right, I hope that helped y'all out.